Novel Tea with SMB is a show about two sisters-in-law who share their love of books and tea. Sometimes they read together, sometimes not. Sometimes horror, but mostly smut. They review and recommend the books they've read and chat about other fun topics, too. Don't worry, they won't spoil anything, and if they do, they'll warn you. Also be warned, this show is not for kids, or for anyone who might be offended by horror or sex talk. Or both. Looking at you, Mom. Hello, and welcome back to Novelty with s and the book club with a podcast. I'm your co-host, Beck, And I'm Stephanie. And today is our thirst tea episode. Um, this promises just a little bit of everything. We'll be brewing a delightful tea of the day, cringing lovingly at our KU assignments, and then diving into the fantastical world of A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, but in our own special way. And we're going to go through a social media trend that has been making the rounds lately. Sounds like a lot of fun. So uh, let's get to our tea of the day. Beck, what are you drinking? Uh, so I, look, I read ahead. And we're drinking very similar teas. However, I am drinking the Republic of Tea, the Bridgerton. Um, it has like an assortment, a tea assortment for Bridgerton. Um, mm-hmm. It is the Featherington Blood Orange Mimosa Tea. It is organic hibiscus, orange peel, <laughs> apple bits, rose hips, natural flavors, whatever that means, uh, yeah. and blood orange flavor. Oh, so. that's funny. They are, is it, are you <laughs> drinking it warm or iced? Warm because I don't like freezer ice. It has that weird. Like, oh yeah, you have that thing. You and I have that thing in Jeff. Well, I think Jeff is the one that brought it up. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I'm drinking iced tea. Um, it is because a it was day. 112 de- degrees today. I saw. <sighs> yeah, I mean that's what my car said. My app said 108, but I mean either way, when it gets to that point, it's, it's, it's freaking hot. Four degrees. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm drinking an iced tea and. Mine has, uh, it includes hibiscus, chamomile, strawberry pieces, lemon peel, and orange blossom. And it's super nice and refreshing. So there's these um, Bigelow Botanicals cold water infusion teas. They're nice. Um, they're like tea bags, obviously. And then you, you stick them in ice and they actually um, like brew or whatever really quickly in ice water. So Oh, really? Um, like an infusion thing. Yeah, cold water infusion. If you ever see the, um, I have a bunch, so when you come out here, I can yeah try one. They're really good. They have all kinds too. But um, anyway, so yeah, it's super nice, and refreshing because it is a hot day here. Um, this tea is the perfect way to unwind and get ready for our next segment. You're right. Uh, so buckle up. It is time for our KU cringe segment where we dive headfirst into those so mm-hmm. bad they're good Kindle Unlimited novellas. Um, I'm going to start first this time with <laughs> Mr. Giggles. Full, full title, by the way, is Mr. Giggles, the Interdimensional Love Clown. It is by P.K. Sapphire. It starts exactly where you want all pornographic novellas to start at a children's birthday party, where our darling uh, female main character is slowly losing her disgust for clowns and is growing a uh, <clears throat> certain lust for them. Nope. One specifically. And the thing about Mr. Giggles is that he is always available for what you need. That's like his tagline. And he's just always what you need. He provides it. And then um, what ensues, I can only describe as a fever dream. So like. You remember Dumbo? Yeah. And like that pink elephants scene where like it's just. I don't. I can't even just. That's what it felt like the entire time I was reading this. But, like, horny. Like, we start off in a tub, and then we're in a bed, and then we're in front of, like, the entire world. And then, like, he shrinks himself so he can literally go inside of her. And then, like, you know, start beating things up with... It's... Oh, my God. There was a Magic School Bus episode, really. Yeah, no. Um, that Probably was... Different. That was yeah, a little educational. That know. was the digestive tract, not the uh, reproductive <laughs> tract. Did he have fun in there? Uh, you know, what was crazy to me is that, like, it was that, like, you know how clowns have, like, that little, like, rock'em sock'em thing where they, like, beat it up and it pops back up and you beat it up? Yeah, yeah, That yeah, was yeah. how it was explained, the G-spot. It was oh, that he was, like, rock and sock and her G-spot. I'm like, this does not actually sound <laughs> pleasant at all. 
Yeah, so that was, um, you know, worth uh, 14 pages, I suppose. Um, and while I don't have the change of heart our Alicia has, because I do not fucking like clowns, you <laughs> yeah. know, and it's not most people like, oh, I'm scared of clowns. I'm not fucking scared of clowns. I just don't like them. Like, get right. the fuck away from me. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't like your whole vibe. Mm -hmm. I don't. Stop. Yeah. But I would rate it five of those like really long balloons. There you go. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. How was uh, I Fucked a Puppet? So I Fucked a Puppet by Fanny Tucker. Fun name. Mm -hmm. Um, No. So <laughs> there is this like whole backstory to our main character, which I mean, we you, you've mentioned this before, how it's so funny. Wild, like, huh? Yeah. Like we. Yeah. You know, it, it, this story is not that deep. Like, you don't even have to. But she was, like, a ballet dancer, and now she dances for a children's puppet st show. Which is funny that, like, your book started at a at a children's birthday party, because ours, or the one I read, started ours. on ours, on a set of a children's puppet show. So, we have that. That is, um, um what is that? Because that's yeah. so, kind of creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. So, the show ends, and she's only this is her third episode she hasn't been there long and um she stays late like she had a wardrobe malfunction and then she um, she's changing and then she's like oh everybody's gone i'm gonna go ballet dance on the stage and then nakies uh, she's in her bra and panties oh. and then um i sound disappointed oh <laughs> there you know and the puppet sees her and so when she's like in the middle of it he starts clapping and then they uh, start a conversation so the puppet is indeed a puppet like <laughs> When the show is over, he is no longer controlled by his ropes, but there is no man in the costume. It's a huge... Oh. And he's, like, described... The way she described him, like, it sounds like, to me, a green cookie monster. Oh! Uh. Yeah, yeah, it just makes it gross, dude. So, like, it's just odd and gross, and, like, lots of talk about his three large shag carpet, like, green fingers, which just... Ugh. But, um... Here's, here's okay, a... I'm sorry. I used yeah. to have shed carpet, and the last thing you ever wanted to do was get that wet. And oh, I know. Especially That's... if it was like a viscous substance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my... Here, listen to this. So I have a quote for you. Um, okay. The thick green fur that covered his shaft gagged me at first, but as my saliva soaked him, and it became matted and slick. But... <sighs> all these girls are just waiting for yeast infections so, they are they want them they, it was so gross i mean i'm laughing but well, obviously like, yeah ew god it's so disgusting um they all so, need monistat they all of it uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. they some need, cranberry juice they need something to cl clear that up and clean that out but um <laughs> one part um was funny because it mentioned his his ping pong eyes rolling wildly and i couldn't help but to think of lucian and literally laughed out loud his worrying eye He's like swirling. all i could think of and it made me laugh like literally i need to make loud. that a like a drawing now <laughs> please do it was that she mentioned his eyes rolling wildly and i'm like oh lucian oh <laughs> it was funny um Baby. so who's you want to give me my assignment first yeah, okay, so unfortunately it is a little longer than the books that we're used to. Most of the time it's like 14 to 30 pages. This is yeah. 79, so it's still under 100. Okay, that's fine. Is... Oh, no. Okay, so what actually got me was the reviews instead of the synopsis, but it is Velvet Steel by Dahlia Davies. Velvet it is, Steel. It's only two sentence synopsis it is it, the creature is in the castle lusts for more than blood and what he has to offer in return is as soft as velvet and as hard as steel <laughs> that was an ugly laugh but um if you go down <laughs> to the reviews it's oh like guess which two words are used consistently to the point of semantic saturation yes i wonder second the next one is yeah she did warn us now that was a lot of velvet steel like a lot of velvet steel had a lot of suspense at the beginning, which is fun. Did I mention the Velvet Steel? Yeah, yeah I'm intrigued. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to read it, for sure. <laughs> oh my god, all right. One to read. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, at least the cover is good. Um, I, 
Yeah, it's not something you're going to be, like, embarrassed to leave on, like, your Kindle just open. So, I mean, since we usually do love a good Photoshop cover, Mm -hmm. um, for you I have Slither, a tentacle tail. Crowded in. Oh. (laughs) Do you see it? Mm Mm-hmm. (laughs) <laughs> Who's it by? Because I didn't write it down, my bad. Tate McKirk. That's it. McKirk. It's, it's a gay tentacle monster erotica short. Hooray for Pride Month. Thank you. It, you're welcome. Try to keep it festive. Nine pages. 70 <laughs> less than yours. <laughs> yeah. Um, life. Here's a synopsis. So life is lonely on a starship. Even though it's against regulations, nothing could go wrong if inside Fritz brought a pet aboard, would it? That's it. It's his pet. Come on. So, uh. Want to yeah. read. <laughs> Isn't the cover, like, beautiful, though? It, it's like so everything cool. I have ever wanted. It's so stupid. I love it. Oh, um, no. There was another one I almost gave you. I'm debating if it's like, I might do it next month. I don't know if it's too much, though. Is it stuffed by the wear turkey? Because that's for Thanksgiving. Oh no, no, no. It's just so. I've never seen. I read it and I'm like, that's perfect. And I'm like, wait, that's a little much. So maybe I'll do it next. Maybe I'll do it next. We're um. He's gonna. He's gonna be like a Ku cringe author. I feel like because I'm looking through his. It's not a discography, I guess, but just all the books he's read or <laughs> written. Written in I just caressing the cosplayer. Ooh. Taken by the tangleweed. <laughs> yes, mm. Yeah, we got a winner. Gay for the gladiator. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. Nine pages full of greatness, oh. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, so, that was rough. Um, yeah. But, you know, it makes us ex- just appreciate our other books so much more. Yeah, it really, it truly does. <laughs> But um, now on to something a little more magical. Yeah. So I, because I have been brewing for <laughs> brewing didn't, yeah. uh, uh-huh. for <laughs> the last like <laughs> month and a half, um, I wanted to talk more about A Court, Court of Thorns and Roses. And I can't talk extensively about it because somebody is taking their dear sweet time. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just a kidding. reader. I, well... It also, like, I I do audiobooks, so, like, I'm reading throughout the day. So, yeah. I mean, I get it, but, I mean. <laughs> so, I wanted, as a compromise, I thought it would be fun to go through the different courts of A Court of Thorns and Roses um, and give them a different tea. Since okay. that's also on brand. Sounds fun. So, uh, we're going to start with the Spring Court. Okay. What what are your thoughts? What tea? Okay, so <laughs> I feel like spring and I like this tea. Oh, okay. So I should also sorry to interrupt you, yeah, but no, 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 I good. want to let everybody know that there is going to be one major spoiler coming forward because there is a character that we like in book 1 that we don't necessarily like in the le- rest of the books. Yeah. So, this is your warning right now if you yeah. <laughs> have not gotten through book 1. And through half of book two, I would say, right? Yeah, yeah. Or a quarter. Yeah, about a quarter through it. Uh, then stop listening now and join us in like 20 minutes or so. so yeah. Continue. Okay. Spring Court. So Spring Court. I like Cherry Blossom tea. I don't like Spring Court. But um, <laughs> I went with Cherry Blossom. But I saw your pick, which is much better. <laughs> and I know you're going to have a lot of enthusiasm on the uh, subject. So please, <laughs> please. Let us know yours. I'm going to give him the... Okay, so if he lived in California, he would have an abundance of this tea. Um, I would just mash up mustard flowers and plants and give him that as a tea. Um, Please talk about it. So, if you don't know, mustard is an invasive species. Like, it's not just, um, like... Uh, transplant species like it is invasive it it cuts all nutrients to native plants in california um 
it drives me nuts because every single time I go outside, I just see a litany of mustard. And not only that, but I go to the doctor's office and their artwork is the California Hills. And hey, guess what? Covered in mustard. (laughs) I go on a hike and these two little cute Asian girls are getting their photo taken. Hey, guess what? In front of what? Mustard. (laughs) I get pictures of mustard constantly by the way like she'll just be like look at this <laughs> it's like a picture of mustard she sent me what was the title there was like this the last one you sent oh, me on the... facebook it was like a um... blooming in santa clarita valley because that's yeah. i live in santa clarita valley oh, and i'm part of like an instagram or... and facebook page for santa clarita valley because you know you gotta you gotta make sure that your neighbors are cool or whatever yeah um, but <laughs> the photographer posted like Five straight shots of blooming mustard. It was so good. I was laughing so hard. I'm so like I don't understand. I don't. I don't. I really don't know why it gets me so heated. It's probably because I'm like I'm a plant lady. Like I'm weird about like you know like yeah. if I if I had the opportunity to like go and rank all of them up, I would. But mm-hmm. I can't. So I just well, stew about it. That that post it says uh, stay at super bloom and I'm like super oh, bloom super bloom that's what it was crack me up I was dying there's yeah. even okay so if you're gonna start seeing TikToks that are filmed in California because everybody that does any sort of like media lives in California I need to get out of here anyway that's mm-hmm. beside the point <laughs> you'll start seeing that they'll just be like walking in the field and. Oops, all mustard. <laughs> mustard everywhere. It's everywhere, dude. I mean, I, I should post a picture of what it looks like so everybody can be like, yeah, that's mustard. Yeah, that's mustard. Well, it's, it's, and the, and the mustard tea is so fitting because, you know. Yes, but okay. In all honesty, I would probably agree with you. Cherry Blossom is a perfect spring tea because it's like, it's very short lived. Like, I think cherry blossoms only bloom for like, two to three weeks out of the year so yeah that goes it it, hand in hand with how long (laughs) was in the spring court goes with how long i liked tamlin exactly (laughs) how long everybody likes tamlin (laughs) exactly that poor girl got a tamlin tattoo oh imagine no that's the worst oh sweet summer child Speaking no, of summer. summer's next, yeah. <laughs> so summer court is ruled by Tarkin. Um, I picked hibiscus. I also picked hibiscus. I think like a nice orange tea would be nice too, but mm-hmm. hibiscus I... is good, like yeah, summertime tea. It's summery. I, I actually drink tea, a lot of different teas with hibiscus in it, and I enjoy it. Um, it's weird because I'm not a big like floral. Um, well, I mean, I like tea, but not a whole lot of floral teas i'm a big fan of especially when they're they have that strong taste they taste like old lady Um, perfume yeah but hibiscus to me it doesn't have that it's so good i've never had it just plain like straight up hibiscus tea um i've always had it like i get it with green tea and stuff right and it's really good mixed in with i've never had it by itself but yeah i think that's a really good that is a good choice that's a good summer choice yeah Autumn Court is ruled by Baron. Yes. I think we both came to the conclusion on this one as well that chai tea is a perfect option. Yes. Even though Baron is a piece of shit, we'll give yes. him chai tea. We'll give him like we'll give him chai. We'll give him like Walmart brand chai tea. Great value. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there it is. Great value chai. Yeah. I, I we, off brand chai will work. Um <laughs> I love chai tea though. It's so good. I do too. And, and, and I do love it autumn. Tastes like autumn like it does whenever that i get really excited i'm already starting to get like <laughs> halloween <laughs> shit too. on my freaking, i'm getting so excited and i'm like it is june first mm-hmm. stop getting excited but i am i and think that's I, because on may 1st it was technically or maybe it was may 31st is technically like halfway to halloween oh, so like everybody's getting excited it about it yeah i'm super excited but yeah i think chai is really good so um <laughs> winter court is ruled by Callius? I think so, yeah. And <laughs> for me, mm-hmm. 
I think with peppermint tea, I'm gonna get heated perfect again for the winter. And as I talk about, since I mentioned peppermint tea, we're gonna let Beck here go on another tangent. Yeah, so uh, I hate peppermint. I hate everything to do with mint. Again, it's another species of plant that just eradicates everything around it. But that's not why I don't like it. I just, I, the smell of it makes me physically sick. Love like, it. as an adult, there's no way around unless I just didn't want to brush my teeth. But I have to torture myself for four four minutes out of the day because it's just, and it's right next to my nose. Oh, there's Terrible. one that's not peppermint. Is it the the orange one? It's not orange, yeah. orange, well, but like it's, it's orange in an orange packaging. It's like Arm and Hammer. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That I think we were using that for a little while. It's not terrible, but there's still like I don't understand. Like, is big peppermint in the toothpaste game or what? Because because it freshens your breath. So does other things. What What would you like your toothpaste to taste like? Orange. Okay. Orange there, okay. or there's cinnamon, get, right? Isn't there like a cinnamon one? Yeah, but there's if you there's like a weird thing with synthetic cinnamon where it can be just like mm. too like if it tasted like red hots, like, cool. But like brushing your teeth with fireball. <laughs> yeah. I once um got blackout drunk on like cinnamon um moonshine. Oof. Oh my god, dude. Oof. I can't anymore. Um, yeah. But there used to be, okay, another tangent about toothpaste. There used to be a crest orange, like, or like a citrus mint where like the citrus cut the mint out. Uh huh. But they stopped making the shit. Oh no. And I don't understand why. Okay. And then, like, if there's people out there that actually have like a legitimate allergy, not just me being a crybaby, but like a legitimately, <laughs> like, because there's, there has to be people out there that has an allergy to it. What do they do? They use get dentures. Bubble gum. They use bubblegum. They use children's bubblegum toothpaste. Yeah, but then you don't get your teeth all the way clean. I know there's this, <laughs> like, so since TikTok is just inundated with fucking ads now, I know there is this company that makes toothpaste of all the flavors. And I guess it's like ads. that French ca- company, right? I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> but I know they make all kinds of flavors of toothpaste. And I always get ads for it. Yeah, but, but I don't want to just brush like... my teeth with sage either, you know? Well, I mean, there's tons of flavors. There might be one on there. I don't know. I never thought about the allergy yeah, nobody thing, does. though. Yeah, see? That... Mm. <laughs> That's something to think about. I'm going to I'm gonna be Googling later. <laughs> what did you pick for, for winter court, though, since peppermint is an absolute no-go for you? <laughs> winter spice. Uh, star anise. Uh, ginger. Uh, what are the other ones? Like cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah, that, that is that's yeah. very wintry. It's like, like a the, simmer pot in a cup. Yeah, glue vine. Mm. Yeah, Tea. yeah. Oh yum. Yeah, I like I like. Yeah, that's definitely winter too. I also that's like my favorite thing about winter too is like getting the warming spices. Even though yeah. we live in climates that don't really, <laughs> you know, no, not not really. So, uh, Dawn Court is ruled by I. I should have had you do this because I can't. <laughs> Thesis. Thes- Thesis. Okay, that's what I said. Thesis. I yeah. just wanted to make sure. And what did you pick? English breakfast tea. You know, oh, it's, the, yeah. it's the morning time, breakfast time. I picked it's a green nice tea. Smooth. Oh, yeah. Because green tea, like, wakes me up and, inner, you know, helps, like, because it has a good amount of caffeine. <laughs> so if I'm waking up when early, is that I too like, heavy? I like green tea. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, you, you turned me on to green tea. I, I I've love had it before, green tea. But never really. Like specifically like, oh. Tazo's Zen green tea. And yeah. Tazo did comment on one of our I episodes. saw that. That was amazing. What made me mad about that though, or not about that, but about well it's not even about the brand. I went grocery shopping today and I went to get it. You know how they have mm-hmm. like the box of it? Mm-hmm. Every single one was expired April twenty fourth. What? Every single one. There was like six boxes in my ass, and they're on top shelf. So I'm on my tippity toes, grabbing them all. They were all expired from April. I was pissed. Where was so. this? Walmart? No, it was like Fry's. Really? The nice one. <laughs> the one over. The one nice one. Not scary place. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's like a really shady one that's kind of in. And then there's the nice one. <laughs> yeah. So- yeah. My Rapid City oh. friends is like North Rapid versus the one on Catron. The difference. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... 
whatever that is. No, I, I, I know you have a good analogy there. Yeah. So I, I was, I was sad. Adam's like, just order it online. I'm like, it's probably stupid expensive. I'm gonna check though. I'm gonna look and see. Well, because also, I like... checked Walmart, not there. Mm. I really? have gone to the ghetto fries a couple times just because it's closer. If I just need to grab like something, not there. Checked Safeway before, not there. It's just not here. And the one place that had it, they were all expired. I'm That's so insane. Yeah, maybe there's like a. It's not like, a, it's not like a, well, they have all the other ones. They have. The, Are those expired that, though? Like, Did you check? No, yeah, no, they're they're good. They had the hibiscus one that I like, but I'm like, no caffeine. Let me put that right back. And then they have like the chai and all that. And then there's a spot for it at all of these stores, <laughs> just empty or filled of expired ones. So I was really sad. But yeah. anyway, man, that's that's a bummer enough. though. Yeah, I picked I picked green tea. <laughs> I, I'm gonna like pick up my Walmart grocery tomorrow, and I almost wanted to add it to cart, but I I'm when Walmart's the one that picks your groceries. I'm sure they're not checking, so I would have to actually go into Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was super sad. So, what about day court? <laughs> so for day court, I picked Earl Grey. Really, I almost picked that for winter. Really. Hmm. I just feel like that's a morning, daytime tea. Like let's have our tea. Well, that morning, I guess, just like daytime, like afternoon day- tea, afternoon like tea, where you get all the, like the finger sandwiches and stuff. You get that some of that Earl Grey. I pick I sun tea, like the type that you put into like a glass container and you put it out on your porch oh, and let like it brew. Black tea. Yeah, that's perfect. Actually, yeah, I actually have a hankering for some of that. To be honest. It's so good. I thought about it too because they had the green tea bags, and I'm like, I should just make sun tea with green yeah, tea. Yeah, dude, you should. And I'm like, no. When I come out, yeah, yeah, you could. <laughs> so good. So for the night court, what did you? I just put boring old chamomile, but like maybe I... like with some of those like um, edible sprinkles or like silver dust in it. Yeah, I yeah. P- I pick chamomile too. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that's just what I thought of. When I think of like night, yeah, like that's what too. I went with, and then nightmares. <laughs> I put fucking gunpowder tea, the worst tea in the entire world. It tastes like cigarettes. That's a thing. Yeah, your dad had it. He's like, you of should try this did. tea, and I did. And I was like, this is like legitimately uh, the worst thing I've ever tasted. Like, oh I'm God. surprised I liked tea after that. Ugh, I, I chose licorice root. It's so fruit. good for you. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> perfect <laughs> it's perfect yeah yeah that's all i can Man. think of. I'm like, i knew that was like one of the first ones i knew i was like oh licorice <laughs> i actually sat and like thought about this one for a long time and then i thought about what was that one that you had during christmas that was like scary green or whatever yeah i can't remember what it was called spooky, i can spooky, spooky something. something i thought yeah, about that, that one so too good. but i couldn't think of the actual name so yeah nightmares licorice because i fucking hate it because i bought remember when i i, I was sick <laughs> Yeah, that was one of these episodes, and I bought that throat coat, and yeah. it was straight licorice. I took a sip, and I was like, "Well," and I shouldn't know because I could smell it. And I'm like, "Well, there's other shit in it. Maybe like, no, that's all it tasted like." You can smell so it bad. through the cardboard. I could smell it through my sick nose. It was so bad, that's and so I funny. like took a sip, and I'm like, "Well, maybe the other things." No, no, the licorice took over. It was disgusting. Oops, all licorice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What about the quarter dreams? I put uh, chamomile, but with valerian root. What is valerian root? It's um, it's just like something that's supposed to help you actually like fall asleep faster, and it make it's said to give you lucid dreams. Oh, I want to have some of that. I think I've so. You know that that tea celestial whatever that has like the little teddy bear on it. Oh, the sleepy time tea. Yeah, it actually, there is some that you can get with valerian root, too. Ooh. I and then lavender. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, like, such of an obvious choice and not fun, but, meh, lavender. And then you can put some of that, like, magnesium powder into it. Like, I do want to make one of those, like, mocktails before mm-hmm. you go to bed. I was on the, the tart cherry thing for a while. I don't know if it worked, but I, I like the way it tasted. Do you, like, if you I'm like, like, I'm going to drink this. If you like a zing, you would love mm-hmm. that magnesium. I'll have to find it. It's like calm something and it has 
like yeah you guys yeah you had it i don't think i tried any but you i think adam had some when mm-hmm. you were at your house because you need to yeah i took a picture of it and i'm like oh, i'm gonna get this and well <laughs> here <laughs> we are here we are <laughs> it's me as usual so yeah that's fun though i like all the different teas i wonder if anybody has any suggestions for yeah what, like what you maybe guys we're, we're just dumb dumbs and yeah don't know our teas but yeah so if you guys have any like suggestions or comments concerns let us yeah. know please because i'd like to hear what um other people think i agree that was a fun one that was that was a good topic that thank you good. you're welcome I, I just want to talk about it so bad i know it's coming i'm 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 like halfway through more than halfway through the third one i always wings and ruin right that's this one okay so after wings and ruin i can talk to you in full yes okay but it's not until um, silver flames that i can discuss like um like the life-changing aspect of things okay yeah okay so um so there's a new trend on TikTok where we obviously spend too much time. <laughs> if you listen yes. to our shows and it comes <laughs> up often. But where people are using like spelling their name with books. So like each letter represents a book. Mm-hmm. So um I thought that was a really fun idea. Um and my name being Stephanie. Probably So long. <laughs> so long. Um but I thought it'd be fun. I'll do my name, you can do your name, and then we can do novelty. Yes. Um, with books. So, so for my list, I got S, and I cheated on a couple of them, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> S is Spark of the Everflame. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. T, Threads of Fate. I read that recently, so it's just like, I try to do most, oh, I just said, I try to do them off the top of my head, but I did have to um, eventually go into Goodreads to find a couple. Oh, yeah. So E, I put Everking. Of course. <laughs> and then P, Pen Pal, H, Haunted, A, A Court of Mist and Fury, and Noctocadia. I, <laughs> I fucked the puppet because Don't worry. I was freaking limited on my choices here. Okay? My K's are limited. Know. I'm like, I, I'm like, I don't have a fucking clue. I'm going <laughs> to write that. And then I'm like, oh no. Oh no. I read one. I fucked the puppet. And then E for B. Ever queen. <laughs> Sweet though that you have both boop boop because you have two E's. Yeah, yeah. So I got to put both of them. And I, I really did enjoy those books. Those were good. So um did you do Beck or Rebecca? I did Beck. Um Rebecca's <laughs> well, you don't like Seth. And I, I don't, don't like Rebecca. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. So I did Beck. <laughs> I always yeah. thought about putting it as B E C K <laughs> because I would have had a better <laughs> option. But it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> B is for bone set and feathers. Um, I read in October. E is for Empire of Storms, which is Throne of Glass series. Uh, two Ks. K for Krampus. Amazing. Amazing. But then, hey, guess what? I only read three books in total with Ks. And one of them is The oh. Kraken Sacrifice. <laughs> so I have to get through Kingdom of Ash pretty quickly before we can like actually post it. Because I am not putting crack and sacrifice on there. Yeah, smart, smart, smart. Yeah. So, although I think it's hilarious, but yeah, no, I think it's super fun. Maybe I am. I, I might make one of these. Maybe I'll make mine now, and then you can make yours later. Yeah, or something. <laughs> I mean, you could put. I don't know though, because I haven't. I might have to. Uh, you know what? I'll just do it, even though I have I fuck the puppet on there. It's still fun. It's all fun. <laughs> no, it's okay. All so maybe we'll program. have like one wild bonkers. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so novelty. <laughs> novelty. So, so I had an N for my name. So what's another good N book? What are you thinking? So I read Nettle and Bone. Oh, that's right. Never wear. Yeah. And yeah, then bone. I have Norse mythology too as ends. Well, but I think like because we're like um, you know, T Kingfisher stands, probably yeah. Nettle and Bone. Yeah, nettle and bone. I have um. Well, I put Noctocadia for my name, and then I put um. I I've read Nightfall, which is part of the dark romance. I actually like that series, though. <laughs> no, but yeah, that, that's that's about all I can think of right now. Yeah. 
So, oh, dude. We read Obedience. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, God, my brain. I read... Are you not looking at your Goodreads? I am now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, let me go. Um, I read yeah. The Ocean at the End of the Lane and oh. Of Mist and Shadow, which I did not rate. So I don't think that was probably a very good one. Of Mist and Shadow. That Was that before? Yeah, October 2022. So that was before we started. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't. I, all I have is obedience for O. And then V Ver- Verity. Mm, yep, Verity. I mean, we both heard that. <laughs> I embarrassing. Actually, I, you know, I, I didn't hate that book as as much as I hated. Me. No, it's just that it's unfortunate because we're going to have a Colleen Hoover, and we're. Uh, you know, historically against Colleen Hoover, but yeah, but that book, I don't know. I didn't hate it. I liked it. I didn't hate it either. Yeah, and I forgot about the book not I read forever ago. Anyways, um, E, Ever King and Ever Queen, Emperor of Storms, Ever King. Yeah, yeah. I so- read Ever Mine. Which is like a contemporary romance. <laughs> That's good. We'll play um, Ever King because okay. we both really like that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. L so what is L? for the way you. Just kidding. Uh, What's L? Uh, <laughs> I have Layla from Colleen Hoover. Hey, guess what? One star. <laughs> like Mothman to a Flame, also one star. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any L books. Lost Gods by Brom. It'll probably yeah. be that one, huh? Yeah, put that one because it ain't the other ones. Uh, there's the Lord of the Rings too, but you um, say that it's just about you know hiking. I, I well, I watched Clerks too. Explained it to me. <laughs> so yeah, but now you've actually read fantasy, so you might have a little interest. Yeah, in it. yeah. So for T, I like this thing between us. Not taken by Canada? Well, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. I'm already writing this thing between (laughs) us. Not taken by Canada. Oh, and the troop, too, but... I haven't read that one yet. Yeah. And that sick love, the hall. Oh. Well, I don't know, the, I'm trying not to do, like, the. That would be more for H, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the Twisted Ones, which is basically exactly the hollow places, but, like. Yeah, I haven't read that one yet. I need to read that one. I think you probably could now that you've spent some time away from the hollow places. Because yeah. it's not going to set up, like, exact. Because the first, like. You told you, me it's kind of similar, right? Yeah, it's like the setup is almost exactly the same. Okay, yeah. Another uh, E, dude. Oh, then I can put um, Empire Storms, I guess. There it is. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Put that. And then <clears throat> A. A. Should it be one of our. Well, do you think a court is A? I put it for A. <laughs> what do you want? Airpeen. You, you could put Airpeen. Um, the Ashes and the Star Cursed King is A. That's a good one. Yeah. Put or American one. Gods. Or. Awkward in October. <laughs> bum, bum. Mm. No. <laughs> I'll put um, the Ashes of the Star Code. Yeah, I haven't First. read the other one yet. Yeah. Oops. Why did it? Okay. I guess I have to actually type it out. <laughs> yeah, Ashes. Yeah, the Ashes of the Star Curse team. God, that was a fun, a fun series. It was. I even like Six Torch Roses. She has other. I heard her other series is like better. So, yeah, One of these days, I just I have know. so much going on right now. My fucking TBR, man. I have yeah. how many do I, now that I'm looking at my Goodreads. I have, have ninety three on my TBR. I have one hundred and thirty four. Jesus Christ! What are your most five recents? Other uh, than that, I added recently. Yeah, your five most recent. Mm-hmm. Other than the one. Oh yeah, I just gave you. <laughs> Um, House of Hollow, Hulk, Ghost Wall, um, The King of Elfland's Daughter, mm. and Never Let Me Go. Ghost Wall. Yep. House of Beating Wings. Okay. And, and Thesis. That's supposed to be a 
fucking siren. Oh mm-hmm. god, I've been looking. saving Noah and a study in drowning. I think I have a study in drowning somewhere on mine too. Do you? Yeah. It's in her empty, so. Well, I w- recently watched that TikTok with that lady with a full core, and I think that's basically what the last oh. one. <laughs> yeah. I saw one. It's a fragile enchantment, and it looks, the cover looks really cheesy, but what it's about is so cool. Like her magic, she um, can stitch emotions in fabric. Oh, it's this, it sounds like the coolest fucking thing. Want to read? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's called A Fragile Enchantment by. I mean, it's, it's not that cheesy. It's just like part of that trend where um, they put like cartoon characters on the front. But you should read the read the whole synopsis when you get a chance because it sounds fucking just I don't know magical and awesome and I really want to read it. It's only a dollar ninety nine on Kindle. Shit, I should buy. It. Yeah, it's it's I just it doesn't even have like the best ratings like three point five six. But I don't care because you know what? I don't go by that because there's so many books that are rated high and I didn't like them so. I'm well, that's the problem, with- right? Is that like, I feel like people are just buying their reviews. Uh, yeah. I also feel like people are just <laughs> buying their followers. Yeah, I was watching you know, today and somebody was talking about that. Like, you have to pay to promote or you that's just what you do. That's what everyone does. They just don't want to admit that's what they did at first. And I'm like, dude, that's dumb. Right. Like, why? I think, yeah. I mean, I don't know. But I think, I mean. We do okay. At least, we do okay and our people like talk to us which is nice like we actually have back and forth instead of it just being a whole bunch of strangers you know? <laughs> right yeah i like I mean, our, the people that I mean. I talk to us dude we have a really good yeah it might be fun really to have good. like them on like do like a lottery or something to have them on that would be super fun yeah invite them on the show and they can pick a little yeah something to talk to us about podcast and they can pick a little topic to we could all discuss that would be super fun yeah we should do that we should do that for sure well probably not next but, yeah. month but you know no 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 maybe august maybe august what are you currently reading <laughs> um a court of i always forget which one i'm on wings and ruin wings and ruin how do you like yeah, it so far um, I have, dude, one part of that was kind of weird. Mm-hmm. I was like, it was just a sentence, though. And I was like, mm. once, twice. But uh, yeah, no, but that <laughs> cracks me up because it comes up a lot. It comes up but, in thorns and, 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 and glass, so too. Many, so many vulgar gestures as well. So many. Um, It just kind of makes me laugh. No, there is it. I guess I shouldn't spoil it. No, go ahead. Okay. Spoilers. Spoiler alert. Um, It's not really a big spoiler but there's this part so after the the battle happens in the summer court right yeah um her and reese like in their tent oh they, like yeah but, like his moans drowned out the painful the, screams isn't and I'm, like, that oh. the worst why the fuck would like she write that, that? i kind of read i read it twice once twice i hated it no too. but i read it <laughs> And I read it again, and I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, I kind of skipped over that part. I mean, I kind of, I just didn't like. I don't. Ew. I don't. It's weird. I couldn't like. Icky. I don't care who you are. I don't even care if you're. I don't care who you are. Like, that's happening around me. Mm-mm. Well, mm-hmm. and not only that, but like, folks are dying, and they can hear right. you. Right. Yeah. And <laughs> how can you just listen to people screaming, in agony, and you're like, listen. You know what gets me really horny? <laughs> yeah. The screams hey. of the dying. I know, and I just thought that was really weird considering, like, how they are as people, too. Like, yeah, because they got, like, like PTSD. Really, yeah. And I love him. I didn't like that. It kind of... No. And it was just one stupid part. Like, it's a little tiny. I love the book. I love it. That one part just kind of, ugh. I didn't mm-hmm. like that. But I do... I mean, other than that, me being nitpicky, but it was just... I wonder if anyone else got that, like, read it and was like, ooh. But you did. Yeah. I saw so a lot of TikToks it. On, about it, too. Oh, okay. So yeah. I, so I, I try to skip over. I can't wait till I don't have to skip over. I skip over a lot of them. Some of them I watch, and I have gotten some tidbits of things because. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There's no way around it. Like, you're going to no, figure something out. Watch. If it looks like it's going to get into great detail, I, I'll skip it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. But other than that, the book is great so far. So 
What are you reading? I am currently reading A Psalm for the Wild Built. It is by Ooh. Becky Chambers. It was, okay, so when we had that TikTok video about um, recommendations based on the song. Yeah. My friend Lauren reached out and she said, well, it's not exactly like it doesn't give you like the heartbreak and all of that, but it is like a journey into like wilderness, basically. Um, So it's worth a read. It is um, on Kindle Unlimited and it's it really is just like this gentle, like almost meditative, meditative book. And I like I'm really enjoying it so far, actually. And I didn't like think i would i'm sorry what's this called again sorry it's called a psalm so p-s-a-l-a-l-m yeah. for the wild built so i guess as a quick synopsis it's basically in the distant future where we have already made robots but we kind of fucked them up and they decided that they wanted to go back like well not go back but they wanted to have their own agency and go into the wilderness and not be contacted by humans anymore like they didn't want to be they're obviously built for human use in factories and farms and all of this, but they said, hey, this kind of fucking sucks. We're sentient beings, like... Yeah. So they go oh. back into the wild, and it's been, like, a few hundred years since there has been any contact between robots and humans, and uh, Dex, the main character, uh, ends up kind of bumping into one, and, you know, they have... An interesting conversation between the two. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. And it also is my, um, except for the tentacle monster now, um, my <laughs> slot for Pride Month because the main character is non-binary. There you go. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, um, I haven't even heard of that book. How fun. It is fun. I added it because I might want to read it. It's really it short. Sense. Like, I'm already like 90%. Of the way through, it only took me like yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah, it's not that long, so. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for that. That's, You're welcome. That's fun. <laughs> it is very much like a novelty book, too. Like, the Dex is like a tea purveyor. Um, you, sorry. They sit down and talk to folks about, like, they're having a bad day, and they're like, oh, let me whip you up some tea. Like, that's their whole oh, job. I love it. Yeah, I isn't love that it. so cool? It's fun. I love it. Yeah cool so yeah so thank you stephanie and thank everyone for hanging out with us today if you have any tea pairings for fantasy novels please let us know uh, we did go through a quarter of thrones and roses but if you have a tea pairing for your favorite fantasy book certainly let us know in the comments below yeah don't forget to like subscribe and share i've been your co-host stephanie and i'm beck this has been novelty with s and b thirsty see you in the next chapter